Hi there, I'm Dr. Max Gatko, this is Olana, my dental hygienist and my wife and you're watching the Lux Dentistry channel. In today's episode we are going to discuss what is a dental crown, which crown is the best for you and how do you take care of dental crowns. So let's go! What is a dental crown? Dental crown is a type of dental restoration that is fabricated outside your mouth and that will encircle and cover your entire remaining tooth structure or an implant. In this video we'll be focusing on dental crowns for the teeth as an implant crowns is a topic in itself and we may make a separate video about it. Let us know if you would like to see that kind of content in the comment section below. And before we go any further let's not be lazy and smash the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. So why someone may need a dental crown? There are many reasons, indications for a dental crown that may include, but not limited to, significant tooth breakdown due to advanced cavity or dental caries, uh, previous root canal therapy, missing cusps or bumps of the teeth due to fracture or crack lines, severely worn down teeth and obviously for cosmetic rehabilitation reasons. Dental crowns may be indicated for many different reasons. To find out the exactly reason why you need a dental crown, you should always ask your dentist. So which crown is the best and which would you recommend to get? Like with anything else in dentistry, we have to consider each individual needs, wants and expectations. When it comes to dental crowns, there is no one crown fits all solution. At my practice, we mostly do all ceramic crowns all day and every day with occasional full gold crowns in certain situations. My general recommendation would be to stick with zirconia oxide based crowns, either monolithic or layered, for any of the back teeth and go with an Emax or lithium disilicate type of crowns for any cosmetic or front tooth work. Both types, zirconia and lithium desilicate or Emax crowns have been on the market for around 10 to 15 years now and they have demonstrated so far excellent results. From experience I can say it with the confidence that those all ceramic crowns are far more superior than any porcelain fused to metal crowns in, and when it comes to gum health, gum response, intimate fit of the tooth bonding and cementation possibilities and overall aesthetic satisfaction and results. Only thing that remains to be seen is longevity of all ceramic crowns as we just don't have enough data yet but we do expect it to be equal or greater of metallic ceramic crowns. I personally believe porcelain fused to metal crowns are completely outlived its times. Is it like you are trying to buy a new smartphone and you are considering a brand new iPhone 1 for the same price of iPhone 11 today? Exactly. Why would you get iPhone 1 today? Well, if you want a relic, if you want a relic in your mouth, then go with a personal fused to metal crown. <laughs> what is life expectancy of the crown? Modern all ceramic crowns have general life expectancy of 10 to 15 years with more than half of those are expected to last far, far beyond that, depending on many factors such as person's dental hygiene, diet, chewing habits and chewing forces. So what are the contraindications for the crown? First, when you naturally have very short teeth, this may not be a problem if additional procedure are performed. Second, when tooth loss or breakdown is not adequate enough to justify shaving off significant amount of healthy tooth structure. Third, in cases of severe parafunction like bruxism, crowns are often not indicated unless entire arch or even full mouth is being treated at once. And finally, when tooth breakdown is so significant that the crown meets the sun tooth structure or its margin, that's what we call, is way below the gum line. It just makes hygiene care very difficult and results of such crowns are unpredictable in the long run. 
What about if a patient has advanced caries all around the mouth and has very poor hygiene? Excellent thinking, Olena. Uncontrolled decay all over the mouth is definitely a big contraindication for any final type of restorations. Unless patient is going to change and demonstrate with time a big improvement in oral hygiene. So let me ask you the following. What's your recommendations when it comes to taking care of dental crowns? If you get a crown, can you get a decay? Let's answer the last question first. Can you get a cavity if you get a crown? The answer is of course. The crown itself cannot rot, nor do bacteria can destroy it. However, your tooth underneath the crown is susceptible and prone for dental cares if no proper hygiene is followed. Do you recommend any special hygiene protocol for taking care of dental crowns? The secret is, good oral hygiene is a marathon and not a split one. Meaning, taking a good care of your teeth should be done consistently and at all times. I would highly recommend for the patients who get a crown, especially for reason of cavities, is to first and foremost improve your hygiene game. Brush at least twice a day with a fluoride toothpaste. At night, Floss your teeth properly until there is no food particles left in between your teeth. And yes, that may take you two to three times flossing each side. Other modalities may include diet and nutrients intake adjustment, as well as specific products for high care risk patients. To summarize, first you want to find out from your dentist reason why you need a crown in the first place. Proper diagnosis often leads to a long-term prognosis. Second, go for all ceramic type of a crown if it's possible. And third, proper oral hygiene is more important than ever to follow in order for the crown to last as long as possible. Thank you for watching this episode. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash the like button and to subscribe to our channel if you want to continue learning about dentistry. Wish you lots of luck and health and we will see you next time.